Well, change is definitely in the air this election. Take Stu Rasmussen, for example. He ran for mayor of an Oregon town, a post that he had previously held. But he was a different candidate this time around. And we're not talking about switching parties. Jack Penning from our affiliated KGW has the story. A small town of 10,000 in the heart of the Willamette Valley, now a center of political attention. Congratulations. So. Mm -hmm. Very happy, and everybody's happy for you. The mayor-elect is the most popular guy here. Yes, he's very, very devoted to this town. So he wants to maintain the integrity of Silverton. Stu won by 13 points, even though Stu... Oh, you're on Water Street in downtown Silverton. What doesn't the, look like a Stu. Some guy's midlife crisis is sports cars or motorcycles or climbing mountains or trophy wives or whatever. I always wanted cleavage, so I went out and acquired some. Excellent. Don't get him wrong, Stu's still a man. He has a girlfriend. And I identify mostly as a heterosexual male, but I just happen to like to look like a female. Hey, congratulations, I just want to say hi. Thank you. Stu went public as transgender a few years ago. He wasn't sure what to expect. The first 30 seconds, I think, am I in a freak show? Is there a camera behind me? What's going on here? And then we get down to discussing whatever the issue is, whether it's city business or business or whatever. And they figure out, oh, well, this guy's different, but he knows what he's talking about. Or I was born here. Sure, Stu's been the target of insults and hate, but this little town gave him a huge vote of confidence. Well, I'm prejudiced, but I think this is just about the coolest town on earth. Uh, a little emotion, sorry. I think it's amazing that a small town like this can be so open-minded to someone that's made a life change. Lovely how it happens the way you want it to. It does. Good job. Thank you. Hi, Corey. You are very well known. Yeah. Well, I'm hard to miss. Never afraid to poke fun at himself. Stu can't wait to take yeah. office. And honestly, I'm having more fun than a drunken cowboy with a brand new pickup. This has always been a, a bar. Finally confident enough to be himself as he runs his hometown in heels. Well, Stu Rasmussen was born and raised in Silverton. He's been an elected official there for 20 years.